Hi, I'm Victor Brick, and welcome to March's Good Old Uncle Vic. The answer to last month's trivia question, why does February only have 28 days and in the leap year 29? Because Augustus Caesar wanted the same number of days in his month of August as his uncle Julius Caesar had in his month of July. So he took a day from February to make 31 days in August. This month's trivia question, I was going to ask who wrote Handel's Messiah, but I know most of you don't read books. Instead, with all the stories of killer whales in the news, how many human fatalities have been attributed to, to attacks by killer whales in the wild? Email your answer to jamie at brickbodies.com. Now, we have a motivational saying that hangs in each one of our general manager's offices, and it reads, the mark of a great manager is getting the desired results no matter what the hand he or she was dealt. The same can be said of a person's life. I have a 93-year-old mother and an 87-year-old father who I love dearly. My mother, bless her soul, is suffering from peripheral vascular disease, which means she doesn't get a lot of circulation to her extremities, and my dad just had an occlusion of the carotid artery that required surgery. The wounds in my mother's legs are so bad that if she doesn't start exercising and getting some blood flowing to her lower extremities, she runs the risk of losing her legs. And my dad needs to start exercising to prevent a relapse of his condition. Now, my parents are like so many other people. Sure, they have plenty of reasons not to exercise. They are well on in years. They have accomplished many great things in their life. They have a home visiting nurse that looks after them when she comes by. But the bottom line is, if they want a better quality of life, they need to take control of their own health, regardless of the hand they were dealt. I am constantly reminding my managers of this. But Lynn and I belong to an international roundtable of great friends and peers from the fitness industry that meet every four months to discuss business and share our knowledge and experience. Oh, and we do, in a, on occasion, work in a few good meals and some laughs along the way, of course. And after every meeting, Lynn and I realize how much more we can be doing to reach out to the community, touch members, change people's lives, and run a better organization. Sometimes, we come up with all types of lame excuses why we can't run a better, more world-class organization. Baltimore is not Chicago or Sydney, Australia. The economy is in the tank. Money is tight. Yeah, they, that might all be true, but so what? The mark of a great manager, in my case, CEO, is getting the desired results regardless of the hand he, in this case me, was dealt. Now, anyone who has ever played sports knows there is one question you will be asked after every game, who won? You could have a hundred reasons of what happened. The referees were bad, your best player was hurt, you were off, but they will keep coming back with the same question, yeah, but who won the game? As I said, the same is true in life regardless of your goals. At the end of the day, at the end of the road, you will have to answer the question, did you accomplish your goals? Did you win at the bigger game of life? Did you get that degree? Did you accomplish what you wanted to accomplish? Did you write that book? Did you start that business? Did you make that big sale? Did you have that loving, positive environment in your home that you wanted? And as usual, the only person you will have to really answer to is yourself. Now, if you would like to comment on this Uncle Vic, I would be very interested to hear from you. If you enjoyed this Uncle Vic, please feel free to forward it to a friend. And for a text version of this or past Uncle Vic's, please visit our website at www.brickbodies.com. We end each and every Uncle Vic with a thought for the day. And the thought for today is one of Joshua Wooden's set of threes that he gave to his son, John Wooden, Hall of Fame UCLA basketball coach and winner of 10, yes, 10, NCAA Men's Basketball Championships. Don't whine, don't complain, don't make excuses. Until we meet again, that's it from good old Uncle Vic.